Hello everyone, today we are talking about the Mother's new offering from Foxeer. Foxeer is probably best known for their absolutely phenomenal cameras, but also very solid electronics. They are doing electronics for a few years, but recently they are absolutely killing. Now this is the new addition, Foxeer Datura, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I'm just saying Datura, a certain uh, name of a flower I believe. So you have two sets of, uh, two lengths of screws in the box, very nice box by the way, you can use it for spares. And then the motor, which, which I already have out because it travels with me. Now, this motor has a full length wire, as you can see, which is quite long. It seriously will suit any setup you want. It has a screw, easy bell removal, fairly, fairly tight tolerances, which typically translates to a bigger power, and this motor definitely has a lot of power. Now, size-wise, 207.5. 1960 kV, so very good racing kV, all the power you will ever need. Bell is actually has a very interesting uh, construction because as you can see has some thickness to those ribs. So let's see how is the dur durability long term, but it actually gives me a pretty solid feeling already. The only hesitation I had was this anti-slip solution. As you can see there are little uh, longish triangle like uh, shapes which are basically biting into the prop. And I, I was a little bit skeptic about it, um, but I already had some pressures even indoors and my, my proper layers did not get uh, loose. So I guess it works. So we will see long term, but so far so good. As you can see, the shaft is not as long, uh, as, long as some other motors and that's because we are using low profile lock nut. And that's perfectly fine. I mean, those things work as good as, as the other ones. So overall feeling is pretty good actually. It's quite solid. Um, it has a lot of power, I can tell you that, but you will see it later on. So, weight of this guy with the full wire is... Hello. is 34 by 4, uh, 0.4 grams. That's actually pretty decent because uh, if you cut it short, which I do, it's below 32. So, you actually have very good motor, below 32 grams, with crazy power, right? Now, why would you cut it short? Because I'm using race wires. There's multiple reasons why you would like to use rice wires. If you bend the prop, it actually uh, handles prop strikes much better than the wires, right? If you hit it with a prop, you ra rarely even damage it. Um, and it's super easy to exchange a motor after a crash if you need so. It's just super easy to do. Hence, I'm always using rice wires and I recommend it to everyone. Now this quad, of course, is running a Foxy Predator, the best, none of the best camera there is. It's actually running Foxeer stack. There is a Reaper and there is also F7 uh, 22 flight controller and of course my Ghost. So this is the Maiden. Um, late in the evening, I just put a very old 1200 light bulb. I didn't like it at all because this thing has all the power. Holy crap, it was very good. So this gave, gave me actually a pretty good feeling about this motor. Obviously it was flying great, there was no issue whatsoever. The power was there, it was much more powerful than the previous configuration I had on this quad with the previous motors. And of course only the motors were what I changed. So actually a uh, very good upgrade. Um, now the old LiPo did not like it at all. Um, you know, on the open area like that you can go full throttle all the time. So I decided to try it on a more contained environment. And I was testing, uh, I think a day later, I was testing my my setups and I just took it out uh, to do some slaloms in an environment where you can, where you can actually see uh, how it performs and, and it was absolutely fantastic. Now this is also a little bit the case with basically every new build. This is not a new build per se, but it's brand new fresh set of motors and that means that they are super smooth, brand new, it flies basically like a dream you can just put almost any tune on it. Now I'm rocking the Karate tune, which is very good, you can just get it from the uh, from uh, Configurator in Betaflight, I highly recommend it for a very light uh, switchback uh, or floss alike uh, or sniper racers because it really works uh, very well. Now it does require uh, RPM certificate as well. Now anyways, one of the more interesting things is durability um, and there's just no way to assess it other than uh, to crash it. <laughs> And if we want to crash it, we came to the right place. So I had to skip one competition, one indoor competition, uh, because I got ill. Uh, but I took it to my friends at in Soest, where we are racing and we have a training sessions in old uh, gym. And as you would expect, uh, we had a very nice, uh, flowy uh, track designed by Walter. It 
was actually very nice and the quad was flying fantastic. Something you should know is that I actually run a throttle cut right now because we are indoor, so you don't need that power. I'm running 90%, so there is 10% more power at, you know, at my disposal if I unlock it. Um, and of course I get into this smither collision with the starlight and I was curious what's gonna happen normally because this is a training I would not fly but to test this motor I decided to fly it and two front uh, props were actually quite bent and you can see all the vibrations and you can uh, hear it maybe I can boost the volume you can hear the sound of the quad now what you can also see is that it still flies pretty damn well so I just decided to push it so to my surprise when I landed it those two front motors were just warm it was not hot or anything like it which was really surprising but of course we have to consider this is the 207.5 so there is a little bit more of that stator and uh, even though the tolerance tolerances are low the heat dissipation seems to be actually quite decent because you know i could even burn the motor uh, like that which of course i did in the past but anyways um so this was pretty good and you can see me also flying it uh, here the last heat now suddenly my go-to died so even though i was carrying an hd camera all i have for you from this one is uh, this is the vr which looks pretty good because it's from orca so it's decent out of the box um and you can see it flies super nice i mean seriously it's always the case obviously with the new quad and uh well sorry it's always the case with the new set of motors they are so smooth but th those already had few crashes including the one you've seen on that hd recording to summarize very good motor, motor from fox here joining a family of ex exceptionally good products like their stacks reaper esc or f722 v2 flight controller or of course predator nano or even lollipop antennas so excellent addition to Foxier lineup. Um, I, I, I have no problem recommending it to anyone looking for new motors. They are very good so far. We are in the middle of indoor season in the Netherlands, so I will continue crushing them sadly, probably. <laughs> so let's see uh, how it goes further. But so far, very good. Very nice set of motors.